this is just sort of fascinating. Like, I, I don't know how many, was it six months ago, nine months ago, people like Charlie Kirk and, uh, and maybe they were just doing this to stoke this on the left, but they were talking about constantly it was identity politics, <laughs> all identity politics, identity politics, um, you know, virtue signaling, et cetera, et cetera. And it is, I am always fascinated by the enormous lack of shame that must be associated with them being able to turn on a dime <laughs> from completely criticizing a, a modality or a thing and then just embracing it beyond even what they had criticized. I mean, you want to talk about identity politics. What about like going through your condiments to see if they're woke? I'm not joking show is brought to you by blackout coffee it is powered by blackout coffee family owned 100 percent committed to conservative values from sourcing the beans to the roasting process customer support charlie you know i you have this experience well i find this interesting because you know we uh, uh just coffee.coop has advertised on this program since prior to like mm -hmm. back when i was doing air america when uh marin and i were doing break room live and they're a co-op um and i guess you know from like a from an ideological standpoint like i'm supportive of co-ops as a um as a as a way of organizing economically yes uh you know and our economy and they they their values also they have i think what you call sort of like leftist values in the sense that they make an, a real effort, even when they're and, and they started by, you know, supporting, uh, you know, the Zapati Zapatistas and uh, we're in, in Chiapas and we're like helping farmers down there. Mm -hmm. And even if they have like a bad year, they'll still like buy from them and figure out a way of making it work with their coffee because they're part of their mission is to support people, you know, the farmers and um when the guy says and so you know and, and so i say like you know they're they're their movement uh, sponsor as well like uh like i'm cl i have a yeah. uh, like a closer i you know ideological and emotional relationship with them what is a conservative value when you are making anything in business it is exploit the hell out of your labor if you can yep um do whatever you can to squeeze as much money out of uh, your workers as possible. Um, and, you know, if you can pull one over on your customers, you do it just because that's the free market. Uh, the asymmetry in information is just part of doing business. I, I can't speak to uh, blackout coffees, particular labor practices. Um, I mean, I'd imagine, though, what would be in keeping with Charlie Kirk's like values is you know, exploitation of labor, maybe importing it from poorer countries where you can cut corners on regulations, having them work like 16 hour shifts in the hot, 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 hot sun. Dan but this is, this is Wait, so there's black rifle and blackout. Cups? I don't know, but this is this is Bongino's. These are the values that they ascribe. I mean, just as a at work, cross that out on duty. That is a very interesting. Why are they against? Why are they anti work? Yeah, like hey, we're not waiting for workers. We're for people who are on duty. Yeah, protect your coffee with a gun i mean that shirt might be a little confusing for people all right so con real conservative values which is exactly what you want if you own the place not so much if you work in there yeah, yeah uh, like, but, not labor union then yeah support bosses uh buy blackout cop. coffee but uh but watch where he goes with this um uh, you know again anti-identity politics this show is brought to you by blackout coffee it is powered by blackout coffee Family owned, 100% committed to conservative values from sourcing the beans to the roasting process. Customer support, go to blackoutcoffee.com slash charlie. That is blackoutcoffee.com slash charlie. Super happy to partner with them, 100% endorsement. Check it out for all your coffee needs. We are now having to, I'm, I'm guilty of this. I, I'm going through my kitchen i'm going to my refrigerator and i'm starting to ask the question well is this ketchup bottle woke is this mustard i mean literally we're at the place now where we have to go through is the company that makes this and so blackoutcoffee.com charlie i'm sure many of you are coffee drinkers because you're high energy 
you're huge freaks like me. I, I mean, at least th- this form of like obsessing over brands and their wokeness is it, it's a unique form of activism. It makes sense that conservatives like choose to only exercise their activism within the confines of consumerism and the free market. That is in keeping with their values. Totally. As long as they keep it like I don't care really if Target loses money um, or if uh, the, the, the Heinz loses money. That's fine with me. The one thing I don't love is that w- these boycotts over very like an- just innocuous pride uh corporate displays it's not the boycotts in and of themselves that bother me it's what it represents which is that we're in the midst of a cultural backlash moment where conservatives like apparently target sales did go down apparently bud light sales did go down yes their attempt modello is now like the number one beer in the country uh, Modelo's pretty good um, um because bud light uh dipped down which but, is but yeah but i ironic. think uh, ironic and and also anheuser-busch the company that owns bud light also owns a lot of the competitors uh, that it were... owns modello oh it owns modello yeah, i'm pretty sure yeah okay so they win uh regardless but like that's what that's what's concerning to me is that this represents not you know i don't care about the boycotts but it represents a moment of like increased hostility because we thought that we'd gotten to the point where even you know stupid like boeing was putting pride flags on their ads or whatever cia yeah the cia is trying to but but it's more of like we're in a very scary time for lgbtq people without a doubt without a doubt um you know the 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 they start with trans people because they are the most marginalized and they will but they will not end there and that's what and that's what Aaron Reed mentioned on the show last week that that quote that we uh, talked about a bunch on the show uh, um, Emma mentioned this way we talked about it a few times that that guy Terry Schilling over at the American Principles Project basically was like yeah we started with the kids thing just because that was a that was good peg people get really concerned when they have kids and then then we wanted to kind of move to adults from there just because like we just wanted to get the foot in the door you it's, know it's always yeah it's like you come yeah. for my beer what's next like it, it's there's it's always a gateway to something further oh we, we are it's the same thing with school it's like same thing with abortion soft targets we need to we need to arm more kids but also maybe you could just homeschool your kids and we could just defund all public schools instead. states states rights for abortion uh just kidding actually uh lindsey graham immediately introduced federal, the federal yeah, ban federalize it yeah <laughs> exactly apple cideritis i'm sorry is the conservatives coffee company called blacks out uh I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean that sounds a, a well it's a little yeah. close but blackout so i'm looking at some of their uh their brands including pitch black it's weird sounds like you know critical uh, race theory call from a 757 area code who's this where are you calling from 